Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another episode of the uh, Learning to Play The Lord of the Rings the card game series. And this time I will be playing the uh, lore version of the starter decks. So uh, in my previous video, uh, in the leadership uh, sphere of influence video, I went through in depth about how the game works. So uh, I think in this video I won't be going into that deep on how the uh, turn cycle goes, but I will still keep referencing the different phases so uh, that if you are watching this as a series you can get more familiarized with the uh, flow of the turn and understand the uh, turn phase uh, order better. I'm still learning this game so if I do any rules mistakes please comment on the video let me know what mistakes I did but I will be playing the starter deck from the revised core set and this is as I said the green or lore sphere of influence um, starter deck so I'm again playing um, the scenario Passage through Mirkwood. So, without further delay, let's get started. So, this time we are playing the lore um, sphere of influence deck. Uh, that is the starter deck. We have a, a bit of a different kinds of heroes in play, we have Denethor, then we have Verabor, and we have Glorfindel. So the lore uh, sphere of influence is a bit different than the leadership. It more focuses more on healing your um, characters or other characters and drawing cards and stuff like that. So it works a bit differently. But this is the point of this series. I want to showcase how the different uh, spheres of influence work with the pre-built uh, starter decks against the first scenario of the core box uh, before we dive into any deck uh, building. But yeah, um, we'll start by drawing our hand. So. Uh, we have uh, the cost of the heroes is 30, so we start with 30 uh, doom on the doom dial. And again, I have already done the setup. So we have the old forest road and the forest spiders in play. We need 8 uh, progress to advance the quest. And we have the counter deck shuffle. So let's draw our opening hand and see how this uh, deck functions. So. First off, we'll see what we get. So we get uh, Bairns, Hospitality, Self-Preservation. Uh, and then we have Erebor, Hammersmith, Dark Knowledge. Uh, and we have the Daughter of Nimrodel. Uh, we have two uh, allies, but I think this is useless. So these are a bit useless at the start. I'm I'm uh, mulliganing. Uh, I really want to get some better cards at the start. This isn't a, that all around our deck as the leadership, so we need a good start to be able to have any chance of uh, beating the scenario. Uh, I have already played with all of the spheres of influence and I think the leadership is the most strong right, right out of the box then maybe this uh, lore uh, spirit and tactics I found a bit hard to play uh, straight out of the box so we'll see how those go but I'm hoping still to uh, uh, win this so we'll draw a new hand of six cards okay so we get uh, uh, Henmart Riversong, it is a uh, uh, unique ally, 
So exhaust hammers we have a curve and counter deck. I think well, we have two of those, so we can uh, jump lock with that. And then we have uh, Leovine, it is also a unique uh, Erebor Hammersmith self preservation and Lorien's Wealth. So I think this is a good starting hand, so we'll place that hand over here again, showing. Then uh, we go to the resource phase, so we add resources to our heroes. We draw one card. And it is a Protector of Lorien. Attach to a hero, discard cards from your hand to give Attach hero plus one defense or plus one willpower until the end of the phase. Limit three times per phase. So definitely playing that on uh, Glorfindel. Then um, we'll use another resource to play uh, Emrant River Son. And I think we are ready to start questing. So that is the planning phase done. We'll go to the questing phase. Uh, we are facing uh, three. So I think I don't feel like self preservation is that useful. And we could. I'm using the self-preservation and use uh, Glorfindel to quest. And uh, I'm actually questing also with uh, Verabor. And let's go with this also. I'm, I'm thinking of just uh, uh, blocking the damage from the forest spiders with Denetor and uh, dealing that next turn. So we are questing with everything. Uh, we'll reveal an encounter card. It is uh, deal one damage to each exhausted character. Well, at least I'm I have a good chance of. Oh yeah, this is uh, defeated right away. Nice, but at least I have a good chance of healing with the uh, Glorfin Delt, so this doesn't matter that much. Uh, we still have... Uh, I, I spent one uh, to boost, so... Four, five, six against three is three progress. So that's a decent start for the first round. So that is the questing phase done. We go to travel phase. Uh, we'll travel to here. I'm readying... Uh, Glorfindel and uh, we'll uh, engage this with Denethor we'll deal one shadow card this guy attacks no shadow ability so we have defense of three nothing happens and Glorfindel will hit uh, three damage here so next turn we can Feed it easily, and uh, that is the uh, encounter uh, or the combat phase. We go to refresh phase, so we ready. We'll add one threat to the dial or doom. Then uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we start by adding resources. a card. It is the forest snare. Item trap. Attach to an enemy. Engage with a player. Attach enemy cannot attack. Well, that is useful later, but right, not right now. Uh, again, uh, we are questing with Dennett. Oh, uh, let's first do the banning phase. So, I'm using one I'm using one from Glorfindel to heal. Then I'm using one to play this guy again. Then I'm using two to play uh, 
I think. Do I have any attachments here? I have self preservation. So I'm playing this. I'm returning uh, the attachment into hand. And I'm actually spending the attachment to boost Chlorfindel for the questing. So we're in the questing phase. So committing Chlorfindel to the quest. Uh, committing. Uh, Beravor to the quest. I'm also committing Erebor Hammer Smith to the quest. That is uh, okay for now. Uh, we have zero here at the um, staging area. We get an income card. It is East Fight uh, Patrol, so it boosts three. No other. Stuff happening. Mm, that guy hits hard, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see. So, uh, three, but we have four, five, six, seven. So, four. We get three here. This is defeated, and we get one here. And that is it. Then we will go to the travel phase, nowhere to travel. Encounter phase, we have to engage this guy. And I'm taking this with Denator and this with... Well, uh, I'm just taking the damage from this one because... This only has two now, so I'll deal this first so it, it will hit and I'll put it on Lorfindel. Problem there. Then this hits here, doesn't deal any damage, but I will use this guy to defeat this enemy. And that is it. Uh, we go to a refresh phase, we ready up. And then we add one threat. So we are at 32, so no biggie yet. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. And uh, I, of course, have for been forgetting to add the shadow card. So this is for the first round. We didn't have any. Well, we had to discard this attachment. So that means we, uh, for after the first round, we played that. So we actually put this back, but we. So I'll just remove one from here. Uh, the second round, let's see. This guy got this one, this one got this one. Nothing happens. And nothing happens. So this is still defeated. So those were the shadow cards if you're wondering, but I, I've been forgetting to um, give the enemies shadow cards when resolving the combat phases, so that, that is why I was correcting the game state. Okay, we're back on track, so resource phase, we add resources to each hero. Uh, we'll draw a card, uh, we get the Lorien's wealth again. Let's see, uh, we have three. So, uh, I will play Lorien's Wealth to draw three cards. One, two, three. Forest Snare and two Radagast uh, Cunning. So we can um, stop enemies from uh, generating threats, which is nice. Um, so that is the planning phase done, not much to pay there, we'll go to questing, uh, Glorfindel, and uh, Beravor, <laughs> always forgetting the name, will quest, nothing else will quest this turn, so we'll uh, add a card, a forest spider comes into play, and uh, we will resolve the 
questing. Uh, we have five against two, so three added there. There's a three. So six of eight. Then we go to travel phase. Nothing over the travel encounter phase. We have to engage this one. Thinking of, yeah, just taking uh, this with Denethor, and this is unengaged, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, so we deal shadow cards. Denethor is defending, he'll resolve this first. Deal one damage to each exhausted character. Okay, that's not nice. And Denethor defense. Then this hits, and the, let's see, no shadow ability, but it um, it is engaged, so it has an attack of three. So unfortunately, that means we have to deal three damage to something. I think this Peravor uh, uh, is defeated. That sucks really bad. Then these two will defeat this enemy. We have to deal with that next turn. But yeah. That is the combat phase. So again we lost a hero quite soon in the game. That is not really nice. Uh, we'll go to uh, refresh phase. So readying up everything. We need to... Try heal with Glorfindel more, and then we get one threat. So we are at 33 threat, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Now we add some resources, a card, and this the Baron's Hospitality. Choose a player, heal all damage on each. Hero controlled by that player, so it is a really costly card. We don't have uh, enough resources to play it. Really should have played that one last turn, but it is what it is. Yeah, this is a bit. Uh, hard now that we only have two heroes left. We have a card that lets us get this car guy back from the discard. Uh, I'm, I'm placing it outside the discard, so it's easier to find when we get that. But it is what it is. So I think I will do it like so. I'm healing one damage here. I'm uh, ending the planning phase, questing phase, Orfindel. Quests. Actually, I'm not even. Uh, I'm not even questing. I have to defeat this guy first. Uh, I I'll quest with one of these guys, and we'll see. We'll get uh, mountains of Mirkwood. So it's a two cost. So we. Boost by one, we add one threat here. We can't even play this because it's enemy in the staging area. This is gates. So we'll go to the combat phase or encounter phase rather. So the network is defending. Combat phase, this guy gets shadow card. Let's Oh yeah, travel phase will travel here, so reveal the top card of the encounter and add it to stage area. Uh, when revealed... Okay... So... 
so uh, we reveal this we can travel here because we can add it to the staging area that is a bummer okay well we'll go to this phase then so encounter phase we engage then we go to combat uh, the network is defending Deal one damage to each character the defending player controls. Brutal. This uh, is defeated. This guy takes one. This guy takes one. This guy takes one. We are dying. Where is all of our healing? I don't know. Uh, Chlorophindel will hit for three damage. Yeah, we wanted to defeat that with this, but it is what it is. Uh, then we'll go to refresh phase, this ready. And we'll add one threat here. 35. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add some resources again. I think we just need to try and survive. So next turn we can heal everything really slow slows us down but it is what it is mm, no planning uh, we'll really dangerous uh, just need one damage there so I'm, I'm taking a risk I'm uh, questing because I don't want to add any more threat here uh, so questing will oh, okay we get uh, this location so we add one threat here then uh, we'll go to travel phase um, we'll go here and we discard two cars from hand random no sorry after travel force it we may draw two cars yeah draw two cars Oh, we find Gandalf. Well, isn't it nice? So Gandalf is over here. Uh, we could next turn play Gandalf. But I think we need to heal everything if we're able. So, um, after traveling there, uh, we can go to encounter phase, so nothing is engaging. Uh, we go to, well, Denethor is defending. This guy hits for two, we have a defense of two, shadow card. Attacking enemy gets plus one attack, so still we don't take any damage. And then this guy defeats this enemy. Uh, we'll go to refresh, refreshing everything, add one threat here, so 37, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. Mm, we'll add some resources, to a card, so actually tidying up this area a bit, so we don't, we have the duplicates piled on, so we don't. We have some more space here. So we draw Daughter of Nimrodel, so we could use that to heal, but I think more important this round is to use five uh, at the planning phase to... Where is it? Here. So, uh, Baron's home hospitality event action. Choose a player, heal all damage on each hero controlled by that player. So. We heal all damage from these guys. Uh, that is a bit of a breather. Then I uh, will quest with Chlorvindel and I think we can quest with this guy too. The Nether will leave up for defending. We'll go to staging so we get an encounter card. This too, so we are at zero. Uh, then nothing else happens, there are no enemies, we skip 
counter and combat phases we go to a fresh phase so we're ready and uh, we'll add a threat so that is that round let's go to the next round now we add the resources we draw a card another Erebor Hammersmith uh, honestly I'm thinking of trying to build up to Gandalf but actually no we will uh, use these two resources to play this other Hammersmith and we'll fetch an uh, attachment so protector of Lorien Then we'll go to quest phase, so this we will quest four, uh, 5 against 4, so this is taking age to advance, but it is what it is, so we get a card. It is a Chieftain Uftak, adds 2 here, so we are still down by 1, we add a room there. Uh, yeah, we are we are a bit stuck, stuck at the moment. Too much to resolve. Uh, let's see. We'll go to encounter phase. So travel phase. We are already here. We can travel to other places. Encounter phase. This engages us. Denethor takes it. It's for three damage. Uh, force after uh, this guy attacks. So we will. So, so it has plus two, so actually Denethor is taking two damage. Uh, and uh, yeah, Shadow card. Uh, defending player must choose and discard one attachment they control. We don't have any attachments we control, so that weaves. That is it, so we don't have anything to hit that guy with, so yeah. Uh, we ready up add a threat so we're at 40 so i think uh, this game looks quite a bit like we're gonna thread out and not advance but we'll see that is that round let's go to the next round we add the resources and i will play protector of lorien and I will use Glorfindel's ability to heal. And then we'll go to quest phase. So that was the planning phase. So quest phase, Glorfindel will quest, but I will boost the questing. I will discard one, two, three, so six, seven, eight, against four and uh, five six so we actually get two here not, not really good we really need to get rid of this location to get the new location out of there uh we'll go to encounter phase no engagements uh combat phase of so the denator is defending this guy gets a resource so dealing four damage to denator will be Not the best play from me. Uh, that that was completely stupid. Well, I think this game is almost over, but we'll play through. So uh, that was the combat phase. We don't have anything to hit back with, and uh, we'll add one here. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we'll add one <laughs> resource, draw a card, uh, Dark Knowledge. Yeah. Not useful at the moment, so uh, no planning, we'll just heal. One damage. No, we'll just save the resource. Uh, this should be readied. Okay, uh, we'll 
skip the questing phase, so let's just see what happens, so... Uh, seven... We are at 38. This enemy will engage this one. We'll uh, see what happens, so it hits. Uh, no additional happening, so yeah, add this, so this is dead. Glorfindel will attack, I will discard dark knowledge, and these two to go up to six, defeating this enemy. And it has the victory, so it goes to the victory display, which is for all purpose here, so it doesn't get shoved back into any deck. And that is it, so... Be ready up. Oh sorry, we can't boost the attack. It, it's the defend. Oopsie. So this guy has 3 damage, still alive. Get these cards back. Yeah, new cards, new game. <laughs> Making some mistakes, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we add a threat to the dial here, and uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. And let's just uh, end the game here, so adding one resource here. This ready mm. yeah well uh, using these two to play a character and uh, this will quest doesn't matter uh, seven oh yeah this should have engaged me and deal dealt one damage somewhere Six versus eight versus yeah, so we tread out on that is game. So uh, the lower deck uh, didn't perform as good as in my test game, but still this could have gone better if we wouldn't have made some stupid mistakes, and that is the part of learning a new game. I really don't have the option. Optimal place yet uh, for all the cards. I'm still learning, but it is what it is, and still I'm enjoying the learning experience. Hope you guys also enjoyed <laughs> watching me fail horribly. But uh, other than that, I look forward to the other episodes in this series. So I still have the spirit and the tactics uh, pre built starting decks today. So thanks for watching, and until next time.